Hello everyone. Um. Um. About this guy in his equipment system. I didn't like his equipment system. But I still I got it and didn't know how it, it will turn out to be. For me, it turned out to be worse than I thought. But I'm not sure it will be directly affected to my character. But I like this other guy's equipment better. But we could use some extra colors on the equipment system, if you know what I mean. But um, we probably won't need to. There are ways to making it go really good. Um, different pictures, I guess. That works. We'll figure out how to make line colors. Mm, maybe down the road. He's got a good equipment system. But his is so out of place. He just don't know it. He thinks he know he has everything correct. Um, for this guy's equipment, this guy, this brand new guy came out. Uh, where is he? This is called. A, these plugins are fast to get done with the work. They're called fast way finishing the work and adding new stuff. My target is the blueprints. These are fast works. So if you want to get it done fast, we have our friends out there that can spare our to spare to spare you the fast pace. Call you gotta pay them in order to get that get that work done faster. Now you can follow along on the tutorial with people, but it will take you a long time. That's why these guys decided to make their plugins so you can get it done faster without going through the tutorials. You know how long it takes you to find the right tutorial on YouTube. If you subscribe to them, they would continue working to help you get your game done. So that's what it is over there. They, there are tutorials out there that can be useful, but um, if you want to get it done faster, the marketplace is where you can find it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using the tutorial and the marketplace, and I also got a fast pace already got here done. So now I can go Sonic. I can go Sonic game. <laughs> and you know all these are fast paced. I got them all. So I got and there's a lot more. They just keep posting them and posting them and posting them. It's out of the out of out of this real unreal. Well, it's like unreal, man. It's a lot of people posting all these plugins and music track plugins. These are all commercial use. This is a commercial use track. When you buy it from them, it's commercial use. No doubt about it. They got their credit payment. And this is another fast pace. But there's gonna be stuff added to this. So, yeah, I don't know if I can add an extra stage to it, and I don't know. I just have to see what I can do with it down the road, I guess. And this here, um, this is what I got here from this this month, a talent tree. So now I don't need to worry about ever working on the talent tree ever again. This got the healing potions and all that in there. Okay, and it can also insert its potion to another object. Isn't that awesome? So, yeah, that's something. Hmm. But there's this thing. Once it's equipped it to my item, it should delete. Or I don't know. Now the item's supposed to be there. Um. Well, just to figure out, maybe if I put it in my object, this is another thing I gotta do. Um, if I pick up an item, I gotta add a key to it. When I press the key on the object, it will restore my energy, my health. Or I just go by that guy. What's his name? He he teach you how to 
well, what am I doing? Um, you guys can figure it out on your own. I'm just telling you what they can do. But I'm going to tell you something. This guy thinks he doesn't know everything. Um, this guy right here. All you can do is rotate a mouse camera so you can move around with it. That's all he can do. Um, exactly with this one. But it's a little faster because it's in a different angle. That's what I'm looking for. Excuse me. This guy here saved my life. Now I have a perfect angle camera. Well, I got a perfect angle, but I don't got a full view. So you can go f forward to the character. If you know what I mean. Um, I can put it on the character. I can. I gotta drag all that stuff to the character and do it from there. Um, okay, and I also got a quest system, so this is gonna work out just fine. So how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna tell you how I did some, how I did this, how I made a three-way. This is I'll talk about this guy. You can only go one way. You can't change automatically in that. That's what I was trying to tell him automatically and I can show you by his what I was what he did to me well when I post that video he will notice that he was mistaken what I was talking about I even put it by the address and I'm gonna say right there that you might want to take a look at this because this might teach you something and it will teach him something if he's viewing it right now and listening it could teach you something and you're probably gonna go through bonkers trying to make it work like that if you can learn this ability you can make you might make a perfect equipment system and that'll probably end it from there I think you need to know I think equipment system and um, talent tree is supposed to be with the equipment system in order for it to work correctly so let me show you what I mean let's start from this guy now here we go um, this is the close to window. plain and simple this is for the talent tree but it also going to be used to close the to close the mouse completely. Now, how are we going to close the mouse? Um, if we see, I, this this you can't remove. If you do that, this won't work. I think this will stop working. And you're saying, how are we going to put that on there? How are we going to get that to work? As long as you don't remove this, it'll be just fine. This has to be attached to this in order for it to work. This is this is like a brand new thing. Um, it's always been there, has not been removed. This is probably an older version that that made the system work for every single equipment system. So this has not been removed. That's good enough. As long as this is still here, the equipment system will not rotate, and you can hide the mouse if this is attached. So if it's if this was not there, I think it'll still work even if it wasn't there. I tried it, it still works. But it will be a little slower, that's the thing. But when they are attached, it's faster rotation. This makes it go rotate faster than what he has. Okay, so let me show you what I did. Um How am I gonna close how am I gonna completely close the mouse completely so we won't get a stop or anything crazy in this? I added a button. I can't believe I'm excited I can move on. I got a, you know, like he does it. This is how it works. You have to have the mouse completely closed, even from this right here. This is a this is this will close the parent. This will delete the mouse off the field, meaning he's dead. You can't bring it back. But this doesn't mean it's completely dead because this is in front. This will keep the mouse from dying. So with this guy in front and connected to the controller, we're still in control of the mouse. The mouse has not left you completely. Because as long as this guy is still in front of the, the remove parent, it only removed the ones in the back, but not in the front. So this means the, the mouse is still alive. What does that mean? So if the mouse is removed and from the camera, what happens next? Let me show you. This is to open the open the tablets. So this opens everything. You have it all open. 
but um, when you close it, the mouse is gone. This is closed. This will close the mouse. But here's the big trick, baby. When this is open, you can bring back the mouse. But this is the thing I want to tell you. When you close the ta um, talent tree, your mouse has disappeared, meaning you have total control of automatic, automatic char character, character movements. And you can also do all those kind of abilities like flying. We don't have to worry about the mouse controlling that anymore. And if you want to keep it on a plane level, you can use the mouse to reappear. Um, meaning, um, Mr. C here is like, C, I see where it is. It's called, I see it. The C means, I see it. I see where the mouse is. It's, it's still alive. So I'm going to bring him back. He brought the mouse back. So this means the mouse is back in control of the screen. So you can move left to right like this, meaning your mouse is in control. You can move left to right, but you're doing it automatically mode. Um, as long as you don't click the button, you can still move around without using holding the mouse button down. So this is like a second number. You did it at first, it was invisible. Now you brought out the mouse, it's on the screen. Um, and you can move the mouse like this, like I'm trying to show you. You can move it left and right, rotation, up and down. But um, if, you want to, if you want to make the mouse be in your control so you can... Hold the mouse button down and rotate without doing it without holding clicking the mouse. You just click the mouse and then hold the mouse down and just like that. You rotate the, the controller. You can probably do this on a, a controller. So this is easy. This is called the automatic equipment system. Three-way automatic equipment system. Listen very closely. It's called the three-way automatic equipment system. A new thing. You remember that name. It can be useful for all equipment systems so you don't have to hold the mouse button down anymore. It's a three-way. As long as you have the talent tree, it will be automatic talent tree is what I call it. So as long as you have a talent tree, it's called automatic talent tree. Three-way automatic talent tree. It can be used for an army game. For any, it's it's for everything, but not for Sonic high-speed action game. Sorry, this is only for RPGs. So anyway, um, so how can we see how it works? Sure. Let's start. Watch closely how my 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 new tweak works. Okay, so this is like this is how it starts off. Is you start as an RPG, you start as how it's supposed to start as the first pace. So you can rotate, do everything you like. You can move around, open your equipment system. You still rotate and everything. You can move these, I think. No, you, yeah, you can move these. You can move this, you can move this anywhere you like. It's good. So you can move these. I'm gonna need to add an X button to close that. You just press the icon and then it'll just close it. Okay, you know about that. We don't got no help bar because I removed it. It's right here. Now I want to get rid of this mouse. And I hate if I move around, I can just, let me just move around. You can rotate, we don't get no stops or anything. There was a problem when you had a mouse and you went over this. It sort of, you couldn't move anything like this. It was sort of, you just had to move the mouse and all that. That was a problem in his equipment system. Now, with his equipment system, it doesn't do that. Anymore. You can rotate anytime you like. Okay, so that's step one. Now, let's do step two the talent transfer automatic equipment system. So, we're going to do that. We press the T button. You can do whatever you want in this talent tree, but you know what happens after that? You press the C key, it disappears, and now you're in automatic mode. So this means you can move around, we don't get no stops or anything. And, and 
then they'll write it on a talent tree saying, if you open talent tree, you will be an automatic equipment system. So everyone will know what will happen if you do that. But be alarmed, you can do, you can return it back to the screen by pressing the C key. Okay, if we press the C key, like I said, we can even jump, go anywhere we like. We can do all these crazy powers and all by clicking on the mouse and everything. We don't get no mess ups. We can go to the things and it doesn't stop us like going straight. Like you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't turn and do all that. You can do that. And you can also pick up items. If I press the Q like this, get a level 5 or 6. And we can see, we can press U and we pick this up. Like that. And it still works. But you, you're supposed to use the target key. But you don't need that, dummy. You don't need the target system. You can simply go to the book and just click it right there. It can make, we can expand the... We can expand the collisions to fit its face. And just go forward on, on top of it. And just go down like this. Just click it. And that's it. You don't need to worry about it. And you can also use the E key to find it. It tells you where you are. You can even use the E key to tell you where to find it. And we can add some like portal floor things. Like portals. Circle portals. So you can find where you're looking for. Like where you want to find it. It's kind of cool, right? We can add circles on the floor and just walk around and just click it and that's it. Without using nothing in front of it. We don't need the target key. That's more like a gun game. But if you want a target key, we can just put it back up there. But you don't need that. You can actually find it in automatic mode like this. Now, let's go to the next step. If you want to find that, if you want to get that if you want to get that mouse back on the screen and get back to rolling, this is the second step. I mean the third step. There's four steps I forgot. So one, two, oh this is the third step. Third step is by pressing C. And there you go. See you got the mouse back up. But you can still rotate. This is kind of cool, right? You can still do all that stuff. But if you click the button, if you click the mouse, it will stop. But you can move the mouse and just click from the keyboard. And you can just rotate and do all this crazy stuff. It's just still like in auto and the mouse is on and the mouse is still in automatic mode. It was hiding. The mouse was hiding in automatic mode. So you can still do this. This is it could have been better for him to make it the mouse in automatic mode. So you don't have to hold the mouse button down. Oh my god. This guy, this guy man doesn't know how to make an equipment system correctly. But yeah, you can still do automatic and oh, this boy's talking too much. And all that stuff. You can jump. You can look up. You can see the weapon. And you can also open your equipment system and just, yeah. Um, you can still drag. Well, you have to, um, we have to close the equipment system. We can't. The thing is, you can't grab. Yes, you can. Oh, oh, I had to click the screen. Okay, so. Oh, look at the armor. Cool. Um, you can drag and all that stuff. For the mouse. Uh, <laughs> I want to tell you something. It's on his head. <laughs> hey, I got a tombstone on my head. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, it, it, There's this thing that's... um. My character cannot have animations on weapons if I try. But you could do it. I could do it a different way by another, by a Chinese stock, by the Chinese guy um, skill point thing. Okay. And we can also put it back in there. So yeah, um, that's one step. Now I can show you like get the items from the talent trees. Um, you can still open it, but you can't get the. That's the thing. 
when you're in automatic mode, you can't open the mouse. You have to press the C key to get it back. And then press the button like that. And then you can drag like this. So remember that. Um, if you're in automatic mode, you have to remove the... You gotta click it two times. You gotta click it two times in order for it to uh, in order for you to pick up the weapons from your equipment system. And I go got an inventory on this one too, so I'm I'm set. My my game is set. I got the I got the the skill tree, the talent tree, I got the skills, I got the inventory, I got the Item chest, I got the chest where I can drop my items at, it's called my warehouse. I got it all. I got this complete system. Um, what I'm also missing is the, I think I'm you know, missing is a quest, quest system. I already got that. So, uh, and I also got the robot system. So this means I can just drop a machine inside here. So I think he's ready to go. Um, he's got his talent tree and everything. He's got his he's got his talent tree. He's got his stat bar. He's got his stats, his level, his health. There's supposed to be something here too, but I, have, I gotta add that too. Um yeah, his arm um shield, I gotta add a shield there. Um I don't think I need to add it, but I can add the speed up and all that. The armor's right here. Add the energy. I think this is it. Mana. Mana's right here. This is the energy. Um, turbo. Here. Something in the experience. Yeah, the, the spirits bar. I think that's it. Um, we don't need to add the shield because that'll be a skill on the bottom here. So all we gotta worry about is this health and armor. The armor will be. The armor is right here. So we don't need an armor boost. We don't need an armor potion. He's got the armor. Okay. So Mr. Armor will protect us um, if it's set up. Um. There's that step I gotta do. Armor set up. Um. I can pinpoint the character to attack. The armor along with his health, it will reduce, take some, like, it will take the minimal life, something like that. The armor is supposed to take some of the points away. It's just armor, you, I'll figure it out. Something to protect the character is to protect his health. That's how much it reduced. Okay, um, this is, after I get all the equipment system set up, my next thing, my next phase is this. Um, what I'm working, what I'm concentrating on is the equipment system. So I can put them all in there. Okay, okay and I'm going to add a clothes bar somewhere. Um, a clothes bar. This I can add right here. A little tiny square and just put a clothes bar. And also I'm gonna put something here. Uh, I have that I have that thing. I'm just gonna put I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that you know what? I don't need to put nothing here, it'll be here. So I just click it and it'll disappear. I click the inventory, these both will just disappear. I have to put it up here, it's gonna be awesome. So you know about all this? I'm still converting the all of this still. <laughs> so um, I think that's it. I told you everything. Um, you can learn, and, and it rotates fast. You see that better than the other. One. See that you can rotate very fast. Sort of skinny in that. Maybe that's how the character's supposed to look like. He looks circled. I circled him out very goodly. But he's sort of skinny. But when he's on the when he's when he's, when he's um 
modern, he's fat. <laughs> but yeah, he's the perfect size for a Sonic size. He's just, he's skinny. Yeah, I still need to do some work on the arms and that, but that looks okay. I can still see a little problem in the arm, but I'll fix that. i just go back and play and fix that problem. I don't see anything wrong with him. It's just maybe his clothes wants to show his style better. Maybe he does look good, it's just he's too uh, light yellow grays. Some of that shadow is hiding it. But anyway, um, I can pick up items and see if it works. Press the E key. Uh, oh, I can. I just need to click it, and it tells you right there. Oh, oh, I don't need to. I don't even need to. I can just click it. I don't even need to press the E key. I can just. You know, oh, that's it. So, so, um, oh, this is great. great um, I just press the button and then click it I, I just click the button and that's it okay so I can do it both ways I can I can simply go pick it up I can go like this see it got close to it I got it close to it and then press E well I'm not, I'm not too close. there we go I gotta look at it If I was in view mode, I could get it better. There we go. See, I had to, this is the line that finds it. But we don't need to do that. I could just use the mouse to pick up the weapons. Just like this. See, it drops underneath me. Cool, huh? I can just click this one. Just left button, click it, click it two times. I gotta click it two times. One, two, one, two. <laughs> I don't even have to go and press the E button. I think this is better. He has a three way pickup. I like his. And I can still jump. Um, about these. I can't pick up these because they're not these are not. These are for another system to the talent tree. You can pick it up from the talent tree. So I think that's it, people. Um, yeah. So I can pick up the items and it's still, it can still equipped. So yeah, I think that's it. It's very good to have a, and this works. And I can also restart if it shows you. And if you close it. Went back to zero. <laughs> no more recovery. Also, if this is a prayer and I press the if I press the T key, the mouse comes back. <laughs> because there is a second line it restores it from the other side. So even if I press the C key. Oh, this the C key is to bring it back, so it's just doubling it back. <laughs> now it's just saying, just press the C key. And you know, just click it the time. So, so this is how you learn it, baby. Don't forget to use that. The talent tree saved my life. Thank God, the talent tree. So now the talent tree just saved my life. Um. This is great, right? Yeah, it's so freaking great. Okay, people. Uh, I think that's it. So now I have a complete... A complete... I gotta get rid of this. I can only use one at a time. I'll use it for basic class. You know what I'm gonna do? He will be able to change class to basic and all that. I gotta find a character that will let me change class. So this is just a basic defense. I just should ask Summoner Defense Basic. Summoner Basic Defense. Yeah, that's how I should act. So which is the basics? Seven. Then when you turn level 50, then you can change level 
you can change to a different class. It was always level 80, so I just say 80. When you turn 80, you can turn to a different class. When you reach 120, you can change 100 or 120, you can change to a class. I should add a subject, sub, what they call it, log, log to subject class, something like that. And heroes class, so there will be hero and subject class. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but yeah, I'm going to do something with this system. So now I have a talent tree, we can go different ways with this character. He can become a subject, subject, more like the future, or a hero's class. So, yeah, but every class you choose your class and then you're, you will change, you can click the person and you can change your character and you have a new skill bar here so you have an extra, all that boost will still be on you. Um, it will still be on you but it'll be over here. Um, it'll be over there, it will, all of it is to be attached. Um, Oh, that's it. I remember now. Um, when you change to basic, when you, the basic will give you the maximum number. The maximum number for basic. Um, I'm just remembering. Um, every class you will get a hundred points. So yeah, use them wisely. And when you when you move to the next class, your point. Whoa, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, the the skills will be increased, the numbers will add up more, meaning you can increase your level even further. So we're going to have fun with him, I mean, we're going to very strong, he's going to be like a soldier or something, but he's going to, he can, you can do a lot of stuff with these characters now, with him, he can stand around and do all this stuff, he's, he's actually on the platform, look closely, you can see his shadow, he's on the platform. So, yeah, we can, um, I got a lot of work, um, I got a lot of work, I gotta restore this flying business, and everything, I got a lot of work to do, but, yeah, and I gotta wait for that, those cheaters to restore, so, I got more testing to do with him. When I'm done with him, I'm gonna fix out his lines on his face. It was fixed before. Um, maybe I did it, but I didn't choose the right character. It's just multiple. But anyway, when I get when I get down, and I make his eyes blink and all that, so we don't see him have his eyes on like this. He needs to blink, so we can see it. So, yeah, people, uh, what do you think of the back of his tail? I'm also going to do it on Cabela, too. Oh, shoot, does she have to be like this? Yep, I ain't to say that. Yep. But I'm only doing it Baby Greed first, because this is just a test. I'm only testing it on Baby Greed first. Until I get it all controlled, then I can move on to Cabela, and that'll be that'll be the end of all of this. I can control the whole entire sector. Right now, I do have probably almost have control of the equipment system, because now I can do rollovers and all that now. So, wish me luck, people. I will still work on it. But now, um, there's this thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to about the equipment system. So this is a new equipment system. Oh, let's see, this doesn't tell you how strong it is. Say it says right check. We can just move them around in that. Click. Oh, it says right click. He didn't. Um, he didn't add that format that you want to click. It goes there. But that's okay. We just go and just drag it. That's it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, he has a he has a hurt brain. <laughs> oh, that hurt. He's holding a stick on his head. <laughs> oh man, poor guy. I will move that. Sorry about that, kid. Oh, there's something else here. Well, that's the glove. That's the shoulders. That's the shoulders. What's this? He gets one for his neck? I think that's the necklace. What's this down here? Um, this is the shield. Oh, I know that's a shield. So, you know what? We can have a class with one-handed um, scepter. Someone can be, she can be one-handed one-handed one hand summoner, strong summoner, or he could be a defender summoner, meaning he can hold a summoner, um, a scepter, and a shield. Cool, huh? So right now, um, he's not allowed to hold a shield. Not at this class. Well, he can. He can. But if you choose a different class, you're not supposed to have a, sep um, a shield. He can only hold Cover this on his clothing. He's got, you know, he's got a fashion system. He's got a, he's got a party fashion system too. So it's right there. 